Hey, this is JNM with the next Blender 2.8 video in which I will show you how to create a glass shader. We start with a project in which I mixed two principal shaders, one for the texture with alpha and the other one for the background color. And the last one I will turn into a transmissive material into a glass shader. Okay, but first we have to enable some options to be able to display a glass material. So we go to the render properties panel and enable screen space reflections. And for these, be sure to have refraction enabled as well. All right, after that, we have to set the transmission for this principal shader here. That is used for the background of the model on the right side. So I crank up the transmission to one. This would be a dark glass but I want a lighter one, so I set the color to white. But still, it is not transmissive. It already looks like glass, but you can't see through it. Let me add another object in the background to demonstrate this. So you can see here that you can't see the cylinder through the mesh. This means something is still missing. Let me go to the material again and press N to open the options here on the options panel. And you can find a property which is called screen space refraction that you have to enable. And now the material appears to be transmissive, you can see through the mesh. You can play around with other properties, for example, the IOR, which is an index of the refraction. Different materials have different values. Class, for example, has 1.5. When you search for IOR and materials, you will find tables with different materials and appropriate values. What you can change as well is the refraction depth. And you also have to play around with this. I found out that it depends on the distance of the model that is behind the one with the class shader. So these are settings that you can change to improve your shader. What's also interesting is that you can't see the texture from the other side of the mesh. But to enable this, you have to change the blend mode. I set this to alpha blend. Now it is visible and you also have the option to show the back face or not. Okay guys, this was the first way to create an EV class shader. Now let me show you another one. First of all, I remove this principal shader. I select it and press the delete key. Then I press shift and A to add two other shaders. The first one is a glass shader. And after that, I add a glossy shader. Okay, to mix these two shaders, I have to add a mix shader node and connect the glass and glossy shader to this node. All right, then we have to add the output of the mix shader node to the other mix shader input. And again, we have a transmissive material. It's a bit too rough, but we can reduce the roughness for the glossy shader. Now it is really glossy. And to turn it into, for example, a green glass, you can use the color of the glossy shader. So as you can see, you have a lot of properties that you can play with. But I want to show you another enhancement, and this is using a Fresnel node. It computes a reflection and refraction for a layer, and the result can be used for layering the mix shader node. This means we can use it as a blend factor between the glass and the glossy shader. You can also play around with the IOR for this. But what you can do as well is to use an RGB curves node and add it between the Fresnel and the mix shader node to create really interesting blending effects. So press Shift and A and search for this node, add it between the Fresnel and the mix shader. And now I can play around with the color curve and do some experimental changes for the blending, and I also recommend this. You will find defaults and patterns in books and tutorials, 
but you will discover very interesting things when you do some experimental modifications and combine different nodes in your setup. You will learn a lot and it's great fun. As you know, for this material, we used the principal shader for the texture and mixed it with the other shader. And now you can, for example, change the roughness just for the texture that is painted onto the glass. So what we did here is we layered shaders, just like in Substance Painter. I will talk about this in one of the next tutorials. If you like this kind of videos, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments. I will try to answer these. Support me on my Patreon. This would really help. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for your support. And I see you on JNM.